Hello and welcome to another video from PyPad Mathematics. I am Professor Lamb and uh, this is an app number pieces uh, that is a base 10 block app and uh, I'm going to do a little bit of work now working with decimals and uh, modeling decimals in the tenths, the hundreds and uh, um, uh, well we can't really do thousands right now mainly because we don't have enough uh, we don't have the three-dimensional thousands block on the app but we'll do tenths and then we'll do hundreds and then help uh, a little bit about uh, with modeling those numbers and connecting that to the abstract and uh, one important aspect of this uh, of base 10 blocks in, in, in particular is understanding kind of the value and how this is a proportional model and just like modeling with whole numbers uh, we have our base 10 blocks here to where the smallest block uh, we will we can define as a certain value but we call it a unit uh, and so we have a unit here and then the next long or the next largest block is made up of 10 units which is called a long and then the uh, the largest block that we have we call it a flat uh, which is equal to 10 of our longs or 100 of our units. So when we're dealing with whole numbers, we oftentimes call these, um, the units, we call them the ones, the longs, we call them tens, and then the flats, we call them 100s. However, uh, when we're dealing with decimals, we need to redefine that. We need to def redefine what our whole is. And so what I'm going to do is I want to call uh, the flat our whole meaning our flat is going to be equal to one and then our long is going to be equal to one tenth and then our our unit here is going to be equal to one one hundredth okay and this helps kind of model or um, uh, show if you will uh, decimals to where now this number if when illustrated, the decimal now will come between the flat and the long, uh, and the number represented will be 1.11, one one, or 1 and 11 hundredths. Uh, so let's do a couple examples here. Uh, working with our, oh, let me undo that. Let me take this off. I want to circle all those, and I want to delete. So if I wanted to model the number 2.43, so 2 and 4, 43 hundredths, uh, then what I would need to do is I would need to figure out what it is, what our whole is, or what my whole is. And as, we, as I mentioned earlier, we let our flat be our whole. And since we have 2 um, as our whole, then we need 2 flats. So one, two flats. And then we have four in our tenths place. So we need four of the blocks that represent tenths each. So the, that would be our longs, and we need four of them. And then the three is in the hundredths place. So it is going to be the block that represents one hundredth of the whole. And that block is going to be our, our unit. And one thing that you can do with this app is I can change its color. And so I can change the, the unit to be the red, a red, if you will. I can change my longs to be green, and then I can leave my flats to be yellow. So it's visually, uh, or that, so that visually you can see uh, kind of what is, or see the difference between the, the three blocks. It's a visual representation or a visual kind of clue or cue for our students. Um, uh, so that's, that's one way to do it. Uh, we can also uh, work with it like this to where I want to just talk about our tenths and our hundredths. So we take a flat and we place it on the board and that's kind of our um, that shows our whole and just like with fraction area models we're gonna model the decimals as being parts of this whole so we want to model let's say the decimal you know 0 0.42 so 42 hundredths 
Well, I want to model that, and I know that the hole is my flat here. So since the hole is my flat, then the 4 is going to be in the tenths place. So I need to represent that with 4 of my tenths blocks. So 1, 2, 3, 4. Here's 4 of my tenths blocks. But I want to change their color so that we can see this. Now, Number Pieces has an app that they have that actually has them already colored. But I like using this one to where I can go back and forth. So I, I can place this flat. I'm sorry, I can place this long here on top of my flat. And you can see that one of them covers up one-tenth of my hole. And so two of them would cover up two-tenths of my hole three three tenths and then four would be four tenths and now we need to work with our two hundredths place over here and that's going to be our units uh, in this block here or the units block and I'm going to change their color just so that we can see it as being different and I'm going to cover up two hundredths with those blocks and now the shaded portion the shaded portion of our model of our hole is going to be four tenths and then two hundredths or forty two hundredths forty two of the smaller blocks that make up um, that of the hole so base ten blocks and using this app can help uh, your visual learners see the real, a, a visual model of your decimals and the fact that decimals are parts of whole just like fractions are and we can cover up those parts of a whole and represent and model those decimals uh, but again we need to we need to get students to understand the, the, the place value and how each number has a different value and, and we can proportionately model that with a base 10 block system and they can see that the long is actually one tenth of the flat so therefore it is a tenth block when we define the the flat as being our whole uh, so you know, it's really good to have students have base 10 blocks in front of them as you are using these this app to help model or they can all have mo uh, mobile devices and you can help um, uh, model that. Uh, so anyway, uh, that's, uh, that's good. And, and while I have you on this video, let me do one last little thing. Uh, it's a real uh, quick on the same concept of uh, 42 hundredths. And we can take our flat and then we can break that flat up and break it up even farther into our hundred ones um, or our hundred uh, units. And now what I can do is I can go in and I can just highlight those come on block there we go and now I can model or cover up 42 or color 42 of those units to represent 42 hundredths and this is very important for some of those early learners of decimals to where when they get into the tenths and those longs it can get confusing but if you see that they can count out 42 of these individual squares then they can see that it's 42 hundredths and that's why we say 42 hundredths because each one of these green dots or green covered in squares is a hundredth of the whole uh, so it's another neat little model and the app allows you to break it up very quickly and, and visually represent and model that, that concept. So uh, have fun with it. Uh, and this again is PyPad Mathematics and I am Professor Lamb.